praise God and hallelujah. You know, I was sitting here just thinking just now, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but I'm here to tell somebody that to make sure that you have on the whole armor, the whole armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I don't know if he knows or not, but it just seems like the closer that we're getting to this year ending, it seems like the enemy, he's trying to pop his head out, like these little serpent, serpentines, they're trying to pop their heads up. Little things trying to pop up. But I'm here to tell you, devil, I am not playing with you. <laughs> I'm not here to play games. I got on my armor. I'm praying, going to keep praying, going to keep declaring God's word over my life, in my life. I'm going to continue being blessed. And Satan, you're going to watch me be blessed. So I just want to encourage somebody. I know we only have a few days left in this season. Just a few days. But listen, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Listen, put on the whole armor of God. Okay? Don't get caught sleeping in this season. Put on the whole armor of God. Declare God's word over your life. Speak his word. Breathe the word. Be the word. And to, uh, imitate the word of God. Okay? Don't get caught sleeping. Okay, and if you're sleeping, I'm here to shake you up. Wake up. Okay, now listen to this. Okay, Ephesians chapter 6, it says, Finally, brethren, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Listen, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. I'm not here to fight against flesh and blood, but trust and believe. If I have to take it back to the streets, I will. But see, that life is not me no more. You see, this fight that we're fighting now, this is something spiritual, okay? This is a spiritual fight in high places, okay? And so people of God, you don't need to, you don't need to fight with your, your, your hands and your, in your feet or with weapons. You need to put on the whole arm of God. Get in your prayer life. Get in your worship life. Turn it, turn it up a notch, okay? Don't get caught sleeping. Turn it up. Pray fast. Get to know your creator. Declare God's word of your life. Know that greater is he that is in you. It's greater than he who is in this world. I'm sorry, y'all. My son, he's in the background washing dishes. But you know what? Forget that. Let him, let him keep washing dishes. Because I'm not going to be distracted by that either. But what I'm telling you is, is that God is greater than any situation. He's greater than any personality. He's greater than any backlash. God is greater than that. And I'm here to tell you, don't let the devil run you off. When you see situations from your past trying to pop up, keep, keep smiling, keep laughing, keep stomping on the devil's neck, y'all, because guess what? Greater is he that is in you is greater than he who was in this world. Keep believing, keep fighting. Fight the good fight of faith like Paul said. I fought a good fight of faith. Stay, stay on this course, y'all, that narrow path, because guess what, honey? That path right there, that's going to lead to life. Because Jesus Christ, he is the true life. He is the true vine. He's king of kings and lords of lord. And there's nothing, nothing that's greater than him. No threat, no battle is greater than the heavenly father. Stop fighting in a battle that's already been won. The only thing you got to do is stand still and see the salvation and reward of the Lord. God is always fighting for you. You don't have to fight this thing physically. Fight spiritually because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against wickedness in high places, man. Put on the whole armor of God. Pray fast. Get your, build up your most holy faith in the Lord. God is for me. The Lord is my salvation. He's my refuge. He's my fortress. In him will I trust. Though the mountains may be removed, I will not fear. Do you know how many times, over 100 times in the Bible, he's telling you, fear not my daughter. Fear not myself, I am with you. He said, I am with you. You have no need to be afraid. He said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Don't you know that God can command, can command a legion of angels to fight for you? Fear not. He said, be, be not dismayed by their faces. They're just people, they're just faces. Don't look at the outer appearance. This is warfare, y'all. Come on now, put on the whole armor. This is warfare. This means war, y'all. You got to pray, man. We ain't got time to be sitting still get, being scared. No, pray fast. Build up your most up, most up holy faith in God. But I don't know who needs to hear that today, but I just want to tell you to be encouraged. Listen, 
put on the whole armor of God. And above all, stand, stand and have faith. Stand on the word of God. Fear not for God is with you. I pray that you have a blessed day and I pray that you get everything that God has for you. Look for the beauty today because you can find God even in the smallest places. Praise God. Be blessed.